So this is my first attempt at a YouTube video. Sometimes you can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry about that and I'm sure I'll get better with time. A few months ago Railway Modeler had this Ratio Yard Office plastic kit on the front of their magazine. It's single sprue and it's easy to build. Let's get our tools together and get going. I'm going to start by assembling two of the walls. I'm going to do the walls in pairs and then once they're set I'll put them together to build the main structure. Make sure you put the right walls together. The wall with the chimney goes next to the window. I use a small engineer square to make sure the wall's true. As we can see inside, I'm taking the moulding lugs off. Some parts are easier to paint on the sprue, so I'm about to give the door and window a coat of white to meet acrylic. Once dry, I give him a second coat.
Now for the chimney, which is made of three small fiddly parts and the outside chimney breast. So I use nail polishing sticks to finish the parts off before I glue them. They're easily available and very cheap and a useful size. All through this stage, I carefully check to make sure that the brick course is lined up on all the pieces.
can see the front wall is a little warped. I want to put a ceiling in anyway for some lighting, so I'm going to use that to brace the wall. I had two goes at this. The first piece was slightly too small. That's how a second piece magically appears halfway through this section. I'm using 60 cell plastic card, which is about one and a half millimeters thick. I want a 3mm LED in the middle of the ceiling, but I can't actually find a 3mm drill bit right now, so I've decided to put a pilot hole in it instead so I can drill it later.
I've cut a small square out where the chimney goes. I'm going to put a chimney breast inside and I can use this to pass the wires down from the lighting. Now for the roof, I'm going to make this the removable section. While the roof sets, I'm going to paint the brickwork. I'm mixing the colour up from some artist acrylics I have. They're a little bit thicker, but they give a good coverage. Once the colour's mixed, I try it out on some paper just to make sure the colour looks right before I actually paint on the model. I don't want too much on there, so I'm sort of dry brushing here. Once the first coat's done, I'm going to dry brush with a slightly lighter second coat. 
Now for the gutters. If I was sensible, I would have painted these first, but I'm not, and I didn't. Now to paint the roof, I'm using an acrylic dark grey here from Tamiya. Now it's time to do the mortar courses between the bricks. I use a thin mix of light grey and light tan enamels. I 
work on one wall at a time. I cover the wall in paint and then I carefully take it back off again using cotton buds and kitchen roll, leaving the paint in between the bricks. While the first wall dries, I'm painting the downpipes and guttering in Humbrol acrylic black. Now I'm going back to the walls and the mortar.
this bit went a bit wrong. I was intending to do the door in a sort of middle and red, but the paint was a bit old and a bit thick. And on the second coat, I decided it looked dreadful, so I took it off again. One of the advantages about layering acrylics and enamels and acrylics is that taking off a layer won't upset the layer below it. So this door is actually painted in white acrylic, which won't come off with the thickness for the enamel. While the red was drying, I painted the top of the chimney in a light grey. I painted the windowsill in the same colour. Again, it's a Tamiya acrylic. You'll notice that I'm using paints from various manufacturers. Don't be afraid to look outside your modelling area for products. Now for the second coat of red on the door. This was the point at which I realised it was going all wrong. Armed with thingers and the cotton bud, I painted the thingers onto the door to soften the paint and then I used the cotton bud to take it all back off again. Once it was dry, I gave it another coat of white to get rid of the remaining pink.
the white was dry, I gave the door a coat of Tamaya blue. <laughs> Now I'm going to make the chimney breast out of black 40 sour plastic card. 40 sour is about a millimetre thick. <laughs> I knew that spare piece of plastic was going to come in useful. clean it and square off the edges. Now to glaze the window using probably not the most pristine piece of clear plastic card.
Fix the glazing using micro crystal clear. It's a glue designed for gluing clear plastic parts. While the window sets, I'll mix up a terracotta colour to paint the chimney pot. Again, you can see that a piece of plastic is having multiple uses. As you can see the roof curls up a little bit at the edges so I've decided I'm going to hold it on using black tack which is a sort of sticky version of blue tack. <laughs> I paint the inside of the walls with Tamaya deck tan. <laughs> Thank you. 
carefully super glue the window and door in. Super glue won't dissolve the paint. Now for what I reckon is the most fiddly job of the whole model, the drain pipes. These have small pegs on the back, but there aren't any holes on the walls for them, so I have to measure out and drill half mil holes for the pegs to go in. Again I'm using super glue as it doesn't mess the paint up. I'm using an old bit of staple to kind of apply a very tiny amount to each hole.
fingers like mine, having a good set of tweezers is useful. I used to buy a flat black to dry brush some soot marks. Humbrol brown wash on the roof, similarly to the mortar, I'll paint it on and then I'll wipe it off again with the kitchen towel. Finally, the centre of the chimney pot and a bit of soot on the top of the chimney.
please remember to ring the notification bell and to click subscribe below. Thanks for watching.